Folks, here we are, Friday, the last day of April. April? I think it's April. Yes, April. Um, what I want to do is I want to go over our calorimetry lab. Um, it's number 47, I believe. And it's a very, very simple lab. So let me just walk you guys through it. All right, so here we are in Schoology. Don't mind the lighter. And we're down in unit six, as always. This is the last day of week number seven. And right here, number 47, Burn Baby Burn Lab. That's, that's what this one is, along with the turn. Now, I'm not going to bother opening the lab. You guys can do that on your own because the data for this is really, really easy. So here's the idea with calorimetry, and I've got it kind of on the board behind me, but as I understand it, you can't read that because it all looks backwards to you. But what this says is that one calorie is the energy needed to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. That's what a calorie is. Now, because of that, you can't see it due to glare, but that means that ultimately a calorie is kind of like heat. It's a measurement of heat. How much heat, how much energy does the food contain? So in order to do a calorimetry lab, what you need are just a couple of things. You need food. Here we've got a Cheeto, a cheese puff, a cheese it, and some marshmallow. You need somewhere to burn it, which is our point of this little stand with the prongy thing. And you need a source of ignition, hence the lighter. And all this lab is, is setting each one up, getting it started on fire, hitting a timer, and seeing how long does each one burn for. The longer one burns for, the more heat it's going to produce. The more heat it produces, therefore, the more calories it has. So, once again, I don't think you can see it back here. Oh, kind of. I have Cheetos, Cheese Puffs, Cheez-Its, and the Marshmallow. And what we're going to do is we're going to burn each one of those in order. So let me move the camera back right down to here. And we're going to start with the Cheeto. This little crunchy bit. Now, to make this work best, you usually want to start burning it from the bottom so that the flames can come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right. So for the Cheeto, it burned for about 38 seconds. Let me get the light again. Okay. So now, if you're doing this in person, you want to wait a minute and let things cool. You guys might have noticed the grease that dripped out of it. That's part of the oil and the fat that makes up the food. It melts out before it combusts sometimes. All right. Next up is the cheese puff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30. Okay, so just about 36, almost the same. So once again, 36 seconds. Next, we're going to try the cheese it. Now, the cheese it is a little bit harder to get to burn. It doesn't like to as much. I'm going to have to turn it because I want to try to get the lighter on the underside so that the flames burn up over it. One, two, one, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right now, I don't even know if that's it burning. That isn't. All right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. All right. So 44, that's our current record. And that's going to take a good minute to cool down. Now you'll notice, though, all of these snacks in roughly the same size, I tried to break them to make them somewhat similar, um, seem to have, roughly speaking, a lot of the same calorie content or, you know, more or less. And that's actually not too unusual. Most of our highly processed snack foods, especially the ones that are cheese-based, which is funny because they could make them any color they want to. They make them yellow, orange, and red because those colors elicit hunger in you. And they know that. They. You know, the secret lizard overlords. Food companies. All right. Now this one, we'll see how it goes. I got the marshmallow on there. If you've ever cooked a marshmallow before, you kind of know how this one's going to work. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And that one kind of failed. Look, there's this whole area here that is not cooked. All right, so we're at fourteen. Fifteen. 16, no, all right. So we'll say about, estimate that would take another two to three seconds. We were at 16, so let's say 19, right? We're gonna estimate using our best understanding. All right, the calorimetry lab is complete. We have our values, so we know which ones have the most calories per unit of food. So now all you want to do 
is you want to go open up the lab, fill out what you got to fill out, turn it in, and you should be all set. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, and I'll see you in class.